Good morning. It's October 17th. <clears throat> and at 7.30 in the morning. I was in this this spot yesterday and I had uh, a buck chasing a doe. And I had a buck that laid down in front of me. It might have been the same deer, but I'm not sure. I had a couple dough that uh, right at dark that were coming in. Yep, I think I seen six deer all, all together, but I snuck in real quietly this morning and I had roughly three deer walk past me probably about 15 minutes before shooting time, legal shooting time. Uh, I have a over my shoulder here, if this dump kind of looks familiar, it's because this is where I shot my doe on last Friday. Unfortunately, we lost it. We couldn't we lost the blood trail, and, and then I did a little bit of grid searching for two days, and I couldn't come up with it. Couldn't find her. I gotta be on major alert. These deer just pop out of nowhere here. 
So there's a swamp behind me, a cornfield that's roughly just over 200 yards. And then it goes uphill into the big mountain. And there's a small development here that's uh, hidden back in the mountain here right above me. It's one of the houses. And uh, yeah, it's going to be about 60 degrees a day. I think it's supposed to be blue skies. It is right now. A few high clouds. And uh, yeah, it's just a cold front this week. So tonight's supposed to get down to the low 30s. So supposed to get frost for the first time this year. I got some acorns falling. But uh, I'm going to sit tight here and see what the morning unfolds. It's 9.37 and it didn't see nothing uh, come by or anything or move around. I'm sitting here and the sun's finally poking through the trees. And they're just, as a hunter, you know how you look in the woods and you're just like, that looks like a deer. And you look at it and it's like rocks or log or whatever. So I'm looking behind me and I'm like, man, that sure looks like a deer. I'm looking at everything and damn it ain't. <laughs> I have a, it looks like a mama doe. Uh, she's 54 yards. a bunch of blow down and she's laying up against it and the sun was hitting when the sun's hitting her I can just see that like it's like a really light brown she has her head up she's like really looking around neat. I just did that little interview about that thought to be a mama doe and I turned to look the other way to the right side of me and looked back and I seen there was a, a doe fawn. So I turned the camera on and I video it. Now that spot disappeared, so just the way she was laying there, it looked like a big mama, but just a doe fawn. It was too early in the season, there's too many deer in this little area to be shooting something that's only 70 pounds. Oh, here comes a mama, or a mama.
that was a small six point. He never really gave me a, a decent shot. I didn't pick up the bow, that thing had a small body. There's another deer. standing here looking to my left. Last night a bunch of deer went they're about 35-40 yards to my left. And they're using a trail that uh, they used to use before but I have a trail camera up right here in front of me that I get a lot of day pictures of deer coming through but, I mean, there's a lot of deer activity 35 yards to my left. It's 2 o'clock now. That was, uh, 3, 4, 5 deer now. Or 4 deer today, technically. That, uh, took that trail. Then this morning I heard 3 of them go down that trail. And then yesterday... There was uh, one, two, three, four, four deer that used that trail again. So, most, I, uh, I'm pretty sure it was all the same deer, all but the one buck. But, uh, I'm gonna move my stand over there. So, I'm gonna, I should do it now, but two o'clock. Get everything packed up, it'll be almost 3 o'clock. By the time I get my stand down, it's going to be almost, uh, uh, almost 4 o'clock, not quite. And by the time I get everything set back up, it'll be almost probably 5 o'clock. 5.30. That's just too much rushing around, and I don't want to sweat. I shouldn't sweat right now, but there's not too much activity here to my right. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come in tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 18th. The 18th of my lucky number. We gotta make something happen. These deer will give me a shot here eventually, but if they keep using that stinking trail, I just feel that I have to be over at least 20 yards, 25 yards. I try to want to keep that trail to my left because I'm a right-handed shooter. And right here's a doe.
well, I just smoked a doe exactly where I shot the other one uh, the other day and lost her. She ran out. She ran out the mean trail that I walk. And I think she fell over about 60 yards from me. Um, about time I redeemed myself. I'm not sure what's going on here with my DSLR, but uh, it's giving me fits. It's only starting to record part, part uh, videos. But anyway, I'm pumped. And uh, I'm gonna sit here for an hour, and then we're gonna take that down, or pack all the stuff up. And we're gonna get down and go get her. All right, failures. Well, we're at an impact. You didn't see this from my other video. This is my tree stands up 20 feet, and right here is the second doe that I shot, and hopefully let's find this one. But here's the arrow. Yeah, knock out, knock. It's all lit up. So the second deer, this is the second one now. They were standing in the exact same spot. It's 14 yards. But anyway, we're going to uh, make a. We're gonna blood trail this deer. It ran out the trail that I walk on coming in. And uh, let's see if, uh, yeah, we can get her. All right. That definitely looks like some good lung blood. Here's my main trail that I walk. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's everywhere. Alright, we're gonna... Oh my goodness, look at that. Ooh, buddy. That is awesome. Alright, bear with me. Self-filming. And it's super windy right now. And that freaking girl hurt. Alright. The blood trail goes up through this nasty stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk out onto the other main main trail and see if I can pick it back up because I do not want to crawl through that. All right, well, that deer went in at that big tree, and uh, I walked that around because that was super thick. But anyway, uh, I'm looking in here. <laughs> See white belly. <laughs> we got her, folks. Oh, he smokes. All right, well, anyway. Here's something that's I'm happy as hang to have this deer, but I'm a little pissed off right now because this kid here Lives up here in this house and one of the back developments. He's riding dirt bike Now this is the main main trail and this is my landowner's property It's about Right here behind me where he's going up Isn't his property, but it's up higher and there's a rock wall that divides it. So this here is actually, it's not theirs, it's another person's. But he's riding dirt bike. He's riding dirt bike up in the woods chasing all my freaking deer around. Anyway, you can see there's white belly right there. Well, we're gonna have to climb in there and get her. All right, well, I just came around here to the backside. Right there's that big crooked tree. 
I just set my backpack down, so we're gonna crawl in here. And uh, we're gonna get her out of here so we can take a good look at her. I think right there she is. Big dough. Always give them a kick. Make sure they're dead. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Now we gotta get her out of here. Man, she is a whopper, fellas. Look at this thing. That is a big nanny dough. Shot's perfect. Oh yeah, she is a big stinking doe. I have you on a pretty wide lens right now, but well, I'm gonna throw a tag on her. Forgive me, I'm gonna throw a tag on her, get her out, and then uh, we'll get some uh, get some more video. Okay, fellers. Well, we got her out. Got her tug up. And she is a whopper. Holy smokes. She's probably got to be 130 pounds. That is a big doe. Man, that was fun hunt. I seen, I seen this girl today twice, three times total. I seen a six point, I seen a small four point, I seen a baby fawn. Um, this girl came in at uh, 14 yards, uh, exactly where I had. I shot a doe last Friday and uh, didn't find her. We don't know what happened. I hit her square in the shoulder here. I played down the, the footage better than what I had posted it. I hit the shoulder here, and the way she was angled, I think I just completely missed the heart. Because the heart's back here. I think I completely missed it, but I hit the artery. But she bled like a sieve. But uh, anyway, this old girl came in the exact same spot. I couldn't believe it. I had a buck come in yesterday. That was a four point. The exact same spot and smelled around. I could have shot him, but the state of Pennsylvania it's not legal this week it is early muzzle litter season so it's doe only and I think today starts today if not it's tomorrow until Saturday uh, the kids and senior citizens can hunt with deer rifles uh, for a special hunt and I'm pretty sure it's doe only I could be wrong on that I don't follow it up too well because of, I'm not a senior citizen and I'm not a kid. But uh, anyway, I have to wear orange. Archie hunters have to wear orange while they're moving, so I have to have that bright color on. I had this vest to bond my tree and she never seen it. If she did see it, she didn't mind it. So, well thank you. Please smash that like button if you if you like my videos, if you like my content. Uh, now we're on to hopefully a buck. I do have another doe tag, but uh, I'm just looking for meat in the freezer and this old girl is going to definitely help my family out. So if you ain't a fellow subscriber, subscribe. Remember, smash that like button. Yee! -yee.